One reason not to take that shirt off. Man boobs. Or moobs. A phrase no man would love to hear. And certainly, if you are stuck in this embarrassing dilemma, we've got your back. In today's video, we're going to tell you how to transform your chest from that soft, pointy appearance to squared off edges where you get to flaunt your pecs, thereby getting rid of that stubborn fat. Get ready, but first, hit the bell icon and subscribe to our channel. Hey folks, it is the result of excessive breast tissue that you get to see men boobs, a condition medically known as gynecomastia. Did you know over millions of American men are said to have those men boobs, that extra fat which makes them super conscious? It gets them anxious, depressed, and the list of feelings never end, probably because they face difficulty in their relationships, social life, and face several physical consequences. But guess what? Several men don't even have this condition of gynecomastia, and yet they suffer from excessive breast fat. Why? Probably because their hormones are working against them. We shall touch this topic later. First, let's look into the reasons of gynecomastia. This medical condition has an incredulous relationship with age. Children may develop it at an early age, where the condition may disappear later in life. In comparison, men over 50 can also suffer from gynecomastia, especially because of gaining weight. Nevertheless, here are some of the major reasons that result in this condition. This include use of or exposure to anabolic steroids, obesity, medications, genetics, alcohol or drug use, diseases such as chronic liver disease, and hormonal imbalance, the topic we introduced before. Let's take a closer look at how hormones cause extra breast fat amongst men. But before we hop into it, remember that gynecomastia itself is not a harmful condition. Instead, since it poses challenges to male appearance, it becomes an important area to consider. Hence, coming back to hormones. Did you know while many individuals do not experience gynecomastia, their hormones act as a barrier, a hindrance, in the path of losing chest fat, thereby storing more fat? We've all heard about the much-loved testosterone, the hormone present in males in a higher number, and oestrogen, the female hormone. Both of these hormones play a critical role in how fat is distributed in our body. However, when oestrogen levels are higher in comparison to testosterone among males, it results in breast tissue among men. This imbalance can be greatly attributed to poor lifestyle choices. Excess body fat in turn increases the levels of estrogen, because of which you get to store more body fat. Increase in estrogen levels in turn makes it easier for the body to store more fat, because adipose tissue or the fat cells have the ability to produce and release hormones. This vicious cycle becomes difficult to break. An increase in estrogen hormone amongst males lets fat storage in areas in line with the female fat distribution, like the breast. For this reason, in order to break this vicious cycle, you need to reduce body fat. Nevertheless, the only way to burn chest fat is burning overall body fat. You can't particularly target the chest area. As you reduce the overall fat, the chest fat also goes down. As you become leaner, your body converts the fat from your chest into energy. As a matter of fact, the body prefers using up the energy from the food you eat instead of the one stored as fat in your body. Thus, the only way to get your body to burn fat is by creating an overall energy deficit. Again, something that depends on your diet. You can, however, burn off these additional calories via exercise. Cardio, maybe. It is highly sustainable to create a calorie deficit by purely depending upon increasing your activity levels without modifying your diet. For instance, eating up an extra-large burger meal with a sugary beverage at any fast-food restaurant would get you 1,000 calories. And to burn that, you would require a 6-mile run for one and a half hour. Wouldn't it be better that you have ingested fewer calories at first? This way, your running would have let you burn more than you ingested. Thus, a 500-calorie deficit every day would help you lose 1 pound per week. If you keep following it, you will lose 10 pounds in 10 weeks. Slow but definitely steady lifestyle change is what will help you in the long run. Short-term quick fixes are not the answer here. Now, talking about fat loss, what are you thinking? Already starting to Google about which diet works best for fat loss? There you shall get tons of examples. Keto, low-carb, vegan, and the list goes on. And guess what? Each of its proponents would say that it worked for them. And yes, it does work, but in the end, it depends upon you, your lifestyle, and how willing you are to modify it. For instance, if you are someone who would easily adapt to fatty foods like butter and cheese without being concerned of skipping carbs like rice, bread, and pasta, then keto is your option. In contrast, if you are someone who wouldn't easily let go carbs, then a load of up to 100 grams of carbs every couple of days, commonly referred to as carb cycling diet, would be perfect for you. 
The key here is not to get carried away searching the best mythical diet plan. That doesn't really exist. Thus, be consistent and sensible with your choices, because it is obviously better to consume carbs from sweet potatoes instead of ice cream. Now, let's talk about burning fat through exercise. This is what you need to shape your chest muscles. For this reason, one of the excellent exercise choices is strength training. This helps you build muscles, helping men to boost testosterone and reduce estrogen. For chest muscle, we would definitely suggest bench press. This will help you add that squared off definition to your chest. Another such similar exercise option is dumbbell press. Dumbbell presses create more horizontal adduction and can isolate each pec and arm for even development. In contrast, barbells will help you lift a greater overall load and gain strength. You can also perform both these exercises with an inclination of a 45 degree angle in order to develop the upper portion of your chest. Start off with three sets of flat bench presses and switch to an inclined dumbbell press. Once you accomplish this, try adding more combinations. For instance, add on dips, push ups, dumbbell flies, deck flies, cable presses, and cable flies. In total, get 9 heavy sets each time you aim at training your chest. Starting off with 6 to 10 reps, keep adding heavier weight. In a similar pattern, keep targeting and training other body areas like legs and core to maintain balance and proportion. This will also help prevent muscle loss and any slowdowns in your metabolism. As you begin reducing your calories, weight train at least 3 times a week. You can break down your trainings by focusing on different parts on different days. Whatever you choose, remember, consistency is what matters the most. While we haven't been talking about diet modification and exercises, here is another key takeaway when it comes to losing chest fat and toning that area. Posture. Improve that. It is related to your back pain, spinal issues, and definitely your chest appearance. Pull your shoulders back. Do this by pushing the lower part of the sternum forward. This way, you manage to spread the surface area of your chest out, making your pecs look tight and less baggy. In this way, the appearance is improved and so is your body image and confidence. If you are amongst this man who experienced chest fat, remember to modify your lifestyle and diet by ingesting fewer calories, being consistent with exercise and improving your posture. We hope this video helped you achieve what you have been looking for. Like and share it with others to help them resolve their problems. Eat healthy and stay positive.